Hey, what's up guys? It's Pete with MixBetterNow.com and today I want to take a look at the brand new Lindell Audio TE100 from our good friends at Plugin Alliance. Let's check it out. All right, so I have the TE100 uh, pulled open here on my mix bus in Pro Tools. Uh, this is a session from the Rincon All-Stars. This is La Isla. I'm gonna go ahead and play a snippet of it for you so you can hear what we got going on. Uh, young flock, oh, half black and Puerto Rican students to the language. All fives is how we speak it. No preaching, action show. That's how we teach it. We are in blood, but touching hearts is how we reach it. But what does Gringo mean, huh? And why we beefing? Blame Columbus for breaking bonds to little pieces. We all need to have respect. For Okay, so uh, the reason you might notice that I have the unit bypassed is because it does impart a little bit of that analog character that it has uh, when it is on, even if you're not doing any EQing. So it adds a little bit of a low end bump and a little bit of um, harmonic saturation, which uh, I find you know very cool and pleasing. Uh, it obviously has a time and a place, but let's take a quick look at the feature set that it, uh, that it has. So this plugin is essentially a faithful emulation of a Klein and Hummel uh, tube EQ from the 60s called the UE100. The EQ has eight bands which allow us to carve and customize the perfect response for critical frequencies in our mix. Uh, we have unique parametric low and high bandpass filters which allow broad or focused uh, curves. They're of course musically sweet because I find most uh, tube EQs to be very pleasing to the ear, uh, never harsh. Uh, it has an analog mode like I was talking about which adds simulated noise floor um, and transformer saturation uh, from the original hardware. Uh, we have warm tube saturation and musical bands from the original, uh, I'm sorry, from the classic Rune Funk broadcasting EQ. Uh, and another cool thing that I love about this EQ is the, uh, the analog units contain no less than 14 tubes. So it is a very, very tube heavy EQ. All good stuff. Going back into Pro Tools here, I want to take a look real quick and just bring to your attention that if you click on the button in the top right corner here, we get a little drop down. Uh, one thing that we can do is we can turn the analog sampling on and off. Uh, we can also readjust the size of the uh, graphical interface. Uh, it defaults to 100% where it's at right now, but we can make it a little bit smaller and we can all save these things as defaults. Um, we can change the oversampling. It defaults to 2x, but we can go all the way up to 16x. And we can dial in the calibration that we want in terms of decibel full scale. Right now it's set to negative 14, but if you're driving a lower level into the unit, you can go all the way down to negative 20. So now let's take a look at the interface here on the EQ. Uh, I want to kind of analyze it as in three parts. So on the left, we have the low end. In the middle, we have the mids. And on the right, we have the highs. So let's go ahead and look at the left and the right. So the low end and the high end are just about identical in terms of the feature set that they have, but of course they're a little bit different in terms of what they do. Um, the, kind of like mirror images, okay? So we have a pair of filters here on the EQ. Uh, we have our low cut here on the left and we have a high cut on the right. Uh, what's great about this is we have a, um, a selectable uh, slope so we can choose from uh, 12 or 24 dB per octave on both the low cut and the high cut. Uh, moving up, we have our, uh, our low shelf boost uh, and then we have our high shelf boost on the right. Uh, again, we have a selectable slope, uh, 6 or 12 dB per octave. And uh, we have the, uh, the knob that goes with each of these, uh, boostable up to 20 dB on both sides. Uh, and then on the low end and the high end, we have a fixed point uh, low shelf uh, attenuation, if you will. On the left hand side, it's 60 hertz. And uh, uh, on the right hand side, it's 10K. Or I should say on the low, it's 60 hertz. And on the high end, it's 10K. And we can cut uh, up to 12 dB uh, with this uh, low shelf. So very handy to have that. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the middle section now. So the middle section can be a little bit confusing, but I promise it's not. It's actually very uh, intelligently designed for being a unit, uh, an analog unit from the 60s, very forward thinking. All right, so let's take a look at the middle section here. Uh, on the left-hand side, this is what I would call the low mids, and on the right, we kind of have the high mids. Uh, the knobs in which we can boost or cut with are right here and right here. 
Um, if you want to boost, you have to engage uh, the bandpass filter, uh, which is in red. And if you want to cut, you would go ahead and click uh, the black button. Uh, if you go ahead and click the white button anywhere on here, which is LIN, that stands for linear, that's going to uh, disengage the EQ, but it's still going to allow the audio to pass through uh, the tube emulation of the circuit, okay? So if we look here, uh, we have these frequencies in the middle. I can click on 180, 300, 500, etc. And what happens is it depresses two of these buttons uh, basically below and above that frequency that we pick. And all that's really doing is... Uh, so for example, this defaults to uh, 180 and 1.2K if I click on 500. So if I were to go 110 on here and go one lower, or if I were to go one higher and go 1.7K, all that's really doing is it's either widening or narrowing the bandwidth of your bell curve. And it's just, just a clever way for an older EQ to have done that, but that's really all it's doing. That being said, we can get a bunch of really cool different sounds from it and we can almost, you know, we can really dial stuff in as opposed to just having a fixed uh, EQ point like on a Pultec, you know, like your bandwidth is what it is. Um, well, on some of them, but, uh, but on this, we can really dial in our bandwidth. So let's go ahead and just take a listen and turn some knobs. Uh, young flock, oh, half black and Puerto Rican students in the language. All fives is how we speak it. No preaching, action show, that's how we teach it. We are in blood, but touching hearts is how we reach it. But what does Bringo mean, huh? And why we beefing? Blame Columbus for breaking bonds to little pieces. Then, of course, we can go ahead and cut. Uh, young flock, oh, half black and Puerto Rican students in the language. All fives is how we speak it. No preaching. Action show, that's how we teach it. We are in blood, but touching hearts is how we reach it. But what does Bringo mean, huh? And why we beefing? Blame Columbus for breaking bonds to little pieces. We all need to have respect for one another, for the land, for the plan to make brothers. Don't take cover to any color of any other. Less fights, no hate, and more lovers. Send my dire, spark a lighter, we getting higher. Burning trees and put it out like firefighters. Don't keep the pain in. Put your umbrella down, let the rain in, surf it up and hang ten. Now we have a, uh, a switch in the middle that we can uh, depress to toggle the device on and off. Uh, young flock, oh, half black and Puerto Rican students in the language. All fives is how we speak it. No preaching, action show, that's how we teach it. We are in blood, but touching hearts is how we reach it. But what does Bringo mean, huh? And why we beefing? So it's actually a very, very simple unit to use once you understand the layout. So I want to do something fun real quick. Um, Another plugin that I use constantly on my mix bus on pretty much every mix that I do is I use the uh, uh, the Brainworks. It is the uh, the BX Digital V3. So what I typically do, there, there's about three moves that I'll do on my mix bus just about uh, on every mix is I will do a little bit of filtering on the bottom. Uh, I will remove a little bit of mid range, typically around 500 hertz just to get rid of some of that boxiness. And then I'll usually put like a little bit of like a high shelf somewhere just to get a little bit of shine. So as you can kind of visually see what I'm doing here, um, filtering off some of the bottom, um, cutting some 500, and then I'm, you know, doing a shelf boost around eh, 8.6K. So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, go to the B section here. I'm still going to use the mono maker and... Let's just go ahead and see if we can dial in our EQ uh, from having the uh, the the TE100, uh, and I've never done this before, so I'm just doing it right now. Uh, let's try and get close as we can to the uh, to the Brainworks uh, the BX Digital V3. Uh, young flock, oh, half black and Puerto Rican students in the language, all fives is how we speak it. So I'm gonna go ahead and engage the uh, the 40 hertz on the low cut with the uh, gentlest slope at 12 dB per octave. Uh, young flock, oh, half black and Puerto Rican students in the language. All fives is how we speak it. No preaching, action show, that's how we teach it. We are in blood, but touching hearts is how we reach it. Uh, so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to search for any of that boxiness that uh, might have built up through the mix. Uh, I'll go ahead and start at 300 here, and I'm going to sweep around, and I might even tighten up the curve here and uh, to, to search for any of those uh, unpleasant frequencies. Uh, young flock, oh, half black and Puerto Rican students in the language. All fives is how we speak it. No preaching, action.
action show, that's how we teach it We are in blood, but touching hearts is how we reach it But what does Gringo mean, huh? And why we beefing? Blame Columbus for breaking bronze to little pieces We all need to have respect for one another For the land, for the plan to make brothers Don't take cover to any color of any other Less fights, no hate, and more lovers Say Madaya, spark a lighter, we getting higher Burning trees and put it out like firefighters Don't keep the pain in Put your umbrella down, let the rain in, surf it up and hang ten. True soldier to the wall. Okay, so I'm cutting somewhere around the 500 hertz range. I have uh, 300 and 850 uh, depressed on the uh, EQ here. Now I'm going to go ahead and look to just add a little bit of presence on the upper mids. Uh, young Flacco, half black and Puerto Rican student to the language. All fives is how we speaking. No preaching, action show. That's how we teach it. We are in blood, but touching hearts is how we reach it. Sounds a little bit uh, too presency for me, so I want to um, I want to widen the cue a bit. Uh, young Flacco, half black and Puerto Rican student to the language. All fives is how we speaking. No preaching, action show. That's how we teach it. We are in blood, but touching hearts is how we reach it. But what does Gringo mean, huh? And why we beefing? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach for the high shelf boost, probably about 10k I think might do it. I'm also going to try and play with the 2.5 though because if you just do a little bit on the 2.5 that can sometimes be really nice because um, you're you're bringing up the whole top of the mix as opposed to just going for the 10k or 8k. Let's uh let's see what we can do. Uh, young flock, oh, half black and Puerto Rican student to the language. All fives is how we speaking. No preaching, action show. That's how we teach it. We are in blood, but touching hearts is how we reach it. But what does Gringo mean, huh? And why we beefing? Blame Columbus for breaking bronze to little pieces. We all need to have respect for one another, for the land, for the plan to make brothers. Don't take cover to any color of any other. Less fights, no hate, and more lovers. Say Madaya, spark a lighter, we getting high. All right, very cool. I like the way that sounds. Uh, I'm gonna grab the BX Digital, and let's see how we did here. Now, this is like a pretty big, drastic difference, in my opinion, because we're basically taking um, a limited uh, EQ in terms of the uh, the TE100, you know, from the '60s, which has multiple fixed points, you know, compared to the to the um, uh, the digital V3 where you can literally do anything you want, but uh, let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm going to bypass the uh, uh, the TE100 here, and this is the um, the BX digital V3 that I had. Uh, young flock, oh, half black and Puerto Rican student to the language. All fives is how we speaking. No preaching, action show. That's how we teach it. We are in blood, but touching hearts is how we reach it. But what does Gringo mean, huh? And why we beefing? Blame Columbus for breaking bronze to little pieces. We all need respect for one another for the land for the plan to make brothers don't take cover to any color of any other less fights no hate and more lovers say Madaya, spark a lighter we getting higher burning trees and put it out like firefighters don't keep the pain in put your umbrella down let the rain in surf it up and hang ten I think that sounds pretty close to me. Um, I, I really like the way that it's sounding. Uh, uh, this EQ uh, sounds great on the majority of sources, but it sounds really good on the mix bus as well. Somos de aquí de Puerto Rico, el Chagui, mucho gusto. La vela del Caribe, colonia de lo injusto. Uh -huh. Preciosa por su playa, mujeres, palmeras. En donde todo el año parece primavera. El plátano, la plena, en Ponce o en Padilla. Don Pedro Albi, sus campos, sacudiendo la orilla. Los perros, los pobres, la patria y nuestra fe. Un pueblo de poetas, adictos al café. PPD, PNP, PIP, la misma mierda. Me All right. So like I said, I really liked the way that, that sounds. That was really fun. I had never done that before. That was the first time I had ever tried to dial um, you know, my settings in on my mix bus. So that was just a little bit of an overview in terms of the, uh, the graphical interface and how it works. And just kind of showing you a little bit of a side-by-side uh, -side comparison uh, using something like the uh, digital, uh, the BX digital uh, V3 that I use all the time. But yeah, I'm going to have to say that this guy's a winner for sure. Uh, like I said, it doesn't sound harsh on anything. Uh, it's very, very user-friendly. I love all of these settings uh, that we can toggle on and off here. Um, and just the fact that you can do so many things like boost and cut uh, the same frequencies at the same time, it really makes this plugin uh, extremely diverse in terms of its uses.
All right, so that's it for me. My name is Pete with MixBetterNow.com. As always, I really, really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, this has been the TE100 from Lindell Audio and from PluginAlliance.com. Uh, go download a copy right now. Check it out in your DAW of choice and see how it sounds. I love it. I'm using it, so I hope you will too. All right, hope you all have a great day, and I will catch you guys soon. Mm-hmm.